guys, it's the beginning of weekend and I'm making something delicious and scrumptious for myself and my family. Today we're making fried rice. Now let's prepare our ingredients. Make sure you set and prepare all ingredients before cooking. I'm using spring onions, curry and thyme, finely diced carrots, diced liver, green beans, red and green peas, green chili peppers. And now let's start cooking. The first thing we'll do is you have to heat up some oil in a pot. I'm not a huge fan of oil, so please add in more oil if you want. I'm not a huge fan of oil, as you can see, I added just little. Add your finely chopped or sliced onions for a minute and keep stirring. The next thing you go in with your liver and just let it fry a bit, as I'm doing in the video here. Keep stirring so that it does not get burnt, alright? At this point, you go in with some blended chili peppers, the one that I showed you earlier. I blended it up with some onions and just keep stirring and let it fry a bit. Next, I'll go in with my chicken and beef stock. I refrigerated this for uh, overnight and this is what it looks like in the morning. So you may have some questions, why does it look, some, look somehow thick? Then. I, I I just took it off the um, the freezer and it looks like that. At this point, I'm going in with my curry and my thyme. After doing that, you stir to combine well. And always remember to cook on medium heat. Do not cook on high heat or on low heat. It has to be medium so your ingredients can be well combined. It does not get burnt or undercooked or some part doesn't get cooked while some other parts are cooked. The next thing I'm going to add in my green peas and some red beans and you bring to a boil. The reason why I'm adding this from the beginning is so that it cooks properly with your ingredients okay it cook properly with your ingredients at this point i'm going to season to taste this is just uh, my seasoning cube the powdered one and salt cover and let it boil a little and at this point i'm going in with my parboiled rice you have to stir to combine all ingredients together. After adding your eyes, you, your rice, you stir. Make sure you stir very well so that you don't have your, your peppers or your spices in a particular place. Stir well to combine all ingredients together. The question of the day says that, tell me if there are no coloring in this rice, and there are no seasoning whatsoever to make it look good or green how come it's so colorful my comment section is always open drop in the comment section what your impression about the rice is and if there are no colorings inside how come it's like this crack the green color code what exactly did i have to make it look green comment section when your cooking is almost done go in with your veggies the veggies we're using here is our green beans, our spring onions, the carrots, and the sweet corn, if you want. I'm not a huge fan of sweet corn, you know, that sweet taste. Ah, this is me out sometimes, although my other family member loves it, but personally, I don't. So what I do is when dishing, I just add this with my salad and dish um, out to uh, people, like to my family members. At this point, combine all veggies together, stir, and your cooking is done in a couple of minutes. Staying all of your veggies together inside your cooking. And at this point, when you're stirring, you have the aroma in the house already. In fact, the neighbors in the house, they may not be able to come and confront you about the rice, but the aroma is killing, I'm telling you. So this is our rice 
as you can see i changed the spoon i was using into a wooden spatula because at this point the spoon is crying and breaking soon and breaking soon so i had to change it and use my wooden spatula after stirring in cover again let the heat eat up your veggies so it can cook to the normal um to the normal texture it's supposed to cook to and that's it 